so let us come back and learn the second uh, type of uh, <coughs> definition that is average rate of a reaction now when i speak about average rate of a reaction basically it is like rate of a reaction only but you are going to compare two different times right like higher and lower means uh, suppose you have started your reaction now it started proceeding uh, at one particular point uh, this reaction is complete now if i ask you what is the average of that particular time where you the product formation is complete right so what do you do you compare the higher minus the lower it's the same nothing let us see so how should i define first of all average reaction increase okay so i'll start with decrease in concentration of reactants and increase in i think it is the same definition as rate of the reaction right so that is the reason i taught you that topic first increase in concentration of product right now what is the difference between that rate of the reaction average now now you have to mention that term with a variable time like you know considerable time uh, factor we are going to consider time factor so with and considerable considerable time interval means you are going to compare that time interval right that means i am going to pick up this particular time higher minus lower let us see what i have to write now average rate of a reaction how is it represented it is the same like your rate of a reaction negative change with the concentration of the reactant by time which is equal to plus change in concentration of the product by time done right now what am i doing now i have to show what actually is this a and what actually is if you take a here try to make b or if you take reactant try to make product now i'm coming back to this question assuming that the volume of the system is constant just a hypothetical uh, uh, equation i'm just assuming that the volume of the system is constant yeah, and i have to derive an expression for average rate of a reaction basically i know what is average rate of a reaction or uh, rate of a system reactant converting to product in terms of r and p so they don't want us to write a they want us to show in terms of r and p where you are going to use time for time t reactant r p simple so what should i do now i have to write average because i'm going with the question i have explained you the basic definition then i have given you what is a concept how should you write this one and now i'm going to write in terms of the question average rate of reaction is equal to minus of now they want us to write in terms of r r divided by delta t which is equal to plus concentration of p divided by delta yes now i have to show separately what is delta r means yeah it is equal to r2 minus r1 the final minus initial what is delta p now p2 minus p1 concentration yes when i write temp time now delta t is equal to t2 minus t simple right the basic definition basic uh, equation of your chemical kinetics chapter so we are just making i'm gradually taking you into the topic of chemical kinetics so this change in concentration higher minus lower product higher minus lower delta t t2 minus t1 right so this is how you are going to write for this particular answer using the terms which they have given me just see i have i've used t for t i've used r reactant given to me yes i did use the product given to me right so we have already seen how to write the rate of a reaction or the average rate of a reaction now they have given me this particular question this is uh, mostly seen in the papers if this particular question is given to you how should you answer this question based on the average rate of a reaction concept now let us read the question first 
how is the rate of the reaction expressed in terms of change in concentration okay as soon as you see the word change in concentration means they're speaking in terms of delta simple as that changing concentration of the reactants for the following yes. here they have not mentioned you any average rate of reaction concept so but only word which they have given you is this so you can directly relate it to average rate or a rate of a reaction so let us write here i can also use it for rate of a reaction concept why because they have not given me any uh, time delta t so i can take this out and i'll do this numerical under rate right now how to write for this rate is equal to yes now first start from here reactants minus yeah this coefficient becomes 1 by 2 yes now hi so change right because they want us to show the change change in concentration of hi by delta t correct now which is equal to which is equal to now this becomes plus isn't it plus there is no coefficient here already they've balanced and given it to me plus hydrogen by delta t is equal to no plus in between please if you're equating it here there are no coefficients plus delta i2 divided by delta t that's it they want us to show then simple don't get confused by seeing the reactions they want you to show the change so you want to showing the change decrease increase and increase good time let us do the second one what do they give they give me two reactants here so see it is balanced balanced so nothing to do so rate is equal to start with minus so there is no coefficient here directly go with change put a square bracket write hg divided by delta t which is equal to again there is one more reactant minus cl2 by delta t nothing to change let us come back to the product do you have any coefficients here not there so here you have to write plus because product concentration is increasing so this becomes your hg cl2 divided by delta t that's it the second one is also done let us do the third one here observe carefully they've already balanced this ionic reaction given to us there's a coefficient here there's a coefficient here do it carefully so rate is equal to now 5 becomes 1 by 5 correct i have to write delta then i have to i have to write br minus divided by delta t this is done equate it to this there are no coefficients here so write minus delta br o3 coefficient divided by delta t now coming back to this one this, there is a coefficient here so it becomes 1 by 6 because change i have to show that change delta h plus by delta t that's it now i'm coming back to products i have to be very careful i have written minus here i have to write minus also here so product start with plus your 1 by 3 concentration change of bromine uh, 2 divided by delta t. I'm coming back to the last product now which is equal to 1 by 3. So it is plus now. Change in concentration of water divided by delta t. That's it. This is how you are going to do. Only thing you have to remember is whenever you are writing one particular reaction see that you are mentioning two concepts one is minus for reactants plus for products change that is delta t because they want to show us this change and delta uh, delta and concentration delta t that is important